people who actually love their jobs. How and why? I'm the guy who gets to wave glow sticks at the airport and help parallel park airplanes. The only downside is that I have to stay outside at all times. I left my career and the big hustle of the city, LA, and before that Toronto, and moved to a tiny town in the mountains where I took a job as a baker. It's like living in a Hallmark movie. There isn't a stoplight around for like 30 miles and everything is all Alpine Village why and shit. I make half the money I did at my old desk job but my expenses are half what they were, and I have zero stress, our customers are always happy because pie. Dog walker here. I love being outside all day, little to no contact with humans, and spending every day with all kinds of fun and adorable dogs, there is virtually no downside. They are so happy to see me and even happier to walk. It's seriously criminal that I get paid to do this lol. No strict deadlines, great colleagues, reasonably well paid and hardly any stress. I own and run a farm. We do a lot of gourmet mushrooms, garlic, specialty fruits, etc. I have always loved to cook. Cooking with fresh local ingredients is awesome. Basing your life around producing those ingredients, cooking with them, and sharing with your community is amazing. I would never have a normal job again. It really is true that with some persistence and a bit of luck you can find a job that doesn't feel like work. work. My boss just told me I could bring my book back with me after lunch and read if I wanted. He said he knows I'll get all of my stuff done and he doesn't mind. I love my job so much. All of these commenters are telling you about jobs with great features, but I assure you that there are definitely people in the same position as them who didn't love the job. I know plenty of people who love art or music who got into full-time jobs in those fields and ended up hating it, as well as people who absolutely love working retail. So what's the secret then? You can't just find a job you love. You have to find what you love within your job. You could be playing video games 8 hours a day and it would feel like a chore after a while if you just focus on what you need to do to run out the clock. The kind of people who love their jobs actively try to make it an enjoyable experience by connecting with their coworkers or putting value into the things they do, and this applies across every single job you could have. Of course, it is much easier to do this if the job has more enjoyable aspects. Having terrible coworkers or not being engaged with the type of work you do will make it much harder to foster love for your work, so you will see a lot of the people in this thread focusing on how much freedom they get or how much the skills they use mesh with their own strengths. I can assure you though that no amount of vacation time or free snacks will make a job great if you deeply resent having to waste your time on it. I'm a truck driver. I get paid 100k a year to travel and see the country. Granted I can only see it from the interstate. Still better than nothing. I'm a HS science teacher I have t always loved my job but I sure do right now. I work for a great district and I spend time with my 7 year old kids during the summer, instead of paying for childcare all summer. I love what I teach, and every year we have an opportunity to propose a new course, and then if students sign up for it we get to teach it. So next year I get to teach a new class that I picked myself. I'm a professional, certified American Sign Language interpreter. Been in my field for five years this month. I love my work. First, I love English and have all my life. Second, as soon as I started to learn sign I felt a deep connection to it. It's a language that comes easily to me and makes sense. I love expressing myself in ASL. Third, I work in education. I never thought I would enjoy working with students, but my job is amazing. Being there to support the kids. Seeing them succeed. Knowing you were there to help and encourage. A big one for me has been working with students whose families don't sign. I am sometimes the only person in their life who uses their language with them. I never thought I could feel like I make an impact on people, but I know I do. I get to be a support, confidant, and friend to the students I work with. And even seeing them 3, 5, 10 plus years later I know I will always share that special bond with them. I've had excellent mentors and teachers who have really helped me to gain the interpreting skills that I have but also develop my empathy and deaf heart. Deaf people are just like you and me, and are oppressed so often in their lives, it becomes commonplace. I love giving them a space where, through me and communication facilitation, they are equal to every other hearing person in the room. I'm a video editor. I've worked in the television industry for almost 10 years now. 
I got very lucky and discovered my knack for it in high school. Making silly horror parody short films, since I was and still am a horror fanatic. I was a huge computer geek and socially awkward. Didn't know at the time but I'm autistic so I had a very hard time expressing myself. Video editing was something that just clicked. I loved the technical aspect of it. How to operate a complex software to assemble a complete story. Shaping it as you go. Got lucky and was able to land a job as an assistant editor. Did that for like six or seven years. Worked on cooking and realty shows. Very boring formulaic stuff. Then I got a new job at a much larger company. We work on mostly true crime shows. Some of the bigger ones that have like 15 plus seasons. I'm an online editor now. I basically take a show after it's been edited and I get it ready for air. I'm the last guy in the process who applies the final color grading and makes it look all pretty for air and I make any technical corrections that may have been missed along the way. It's a fun job and pretty creatively fulfilling. If I don't scratch that itch for creativity I tend to get anxious and start getting restless. I've been very fortunate to be at the company I am now. They aren't perfect. No place is. But the people and company culture are great. And everyone cares about each other. I've had my boss buy my family dinner when my five-year-old graduated preschool. I've got room to grow here and keep moving up in positions. I love what I do and wouldn't trade it. Most editors won't work the true crime genre long term. Too graphic for them as we see the raw crime scene photos before they're censored for air. But it's never bothered me as I'm a true crime nerd anyway and have always gravitated to the darker subject matter. Though a couple of the cases have truly disturbed me to the point of me turning it off. I don't love everything about my job. I would still rather devote those hours to hanging out with friends or playing video games or something. But I'm a freelancer writing in a niche field. So I can ask a pretty high hourly rate for my work. I don't need to work 40 hours a week. Sometimes closer to 20. I get to define exactly what those hours are, and I work from home, or wherever I feel like bringing my laptop. Plus, my current company treats me well in other ways. Annual trips, cash bonuses, little gifts like bottles of wine and gift cards, and plenty of verbal reinforcement of my value. And the people themselves are pretty cool. When I actually have to sit down at my laptop, I still roll my eyes, but I can also take a break to watch TV whenever I want, so it could be way worse. I love working in manufacturing, welding. There's a lot of satisfaction in creating something out of something else. I take pride that my work meets specs and the money is okay. It's not necessarily a rare skill set, but not everyone can do it. I've struggled with ADD and depression, so being successful at my trade is very important to me. I work at an airport. It's the best job I've ever had. The hours are flexible, I can make my own schedule and my coworkers are pretty awesome and I enjoy going to work every day I am there. I'm a guitar maker. I spend all day toiling in my workshop attempting to make more responsive and more beautiful classical guitars than the last. I get to meet interesting people through commissions and by getting to know other colleagues. I've spent a significant amount of time studying in Spain to perfect my craft affording me both professional and personal experiences that have shaped my work and given me great stories to tell at the bar. I never have to deal with crappy bosses, wake up when I want to, work when I want to, take off when I want to, and have the ability to travel to my old teacher's shop on the Mediterranean for a working holiday should I tire of my current surroundings. It's a difficult skill to gain proficiency in and you really need to live and breathe the work to make any sort of money. I'll never get rich but that's not all that important to me, but I can't imagine doing anything else. Social worker here. Exciting because no two days are the same and I'm constantly learning. I love working with people who are just as passionate about my field as I am. Despite difficult cases, I love working with people. I am a medical photographer. For the most part, my job is pretty stress-free. I just take calls and go take photos of interesting, to me, photos. Some days are gross but most are really pleasant for the most part. The money isn't amazing but I make enough to make a decent living where I am at. Strong stomach recommended. I am a software developer and it gives me a lot of intellectual satisfaction, if that is a thing, and you can reflect and improve yourself. Also it takes a lot of learning and it is really cool to directly apply things you learned out of interest. I work in a library, and I love it. Sure. 
The pay isnt great and there is loads of red tape, but I get to work with children and books every day. I always wanted to be a librarian too. I give tours to classes. I give workshops. I man the desk at the children's department and I set up projects that help schools promote reading. I work at a cannabis dispensary. Medical. It's my dream job. People do not generally come into my work in a bad mood. I enjoy helping people. Love cannabis. Win-win. Every other Friday off. Company vehicle. Good team to work with. Get off when I want. Not stressful. Get paid well. I clock in. They give me some tasks to complete. I complete them. I clock out after 8 hours. It's a union job and I make top pay and am at the top of the list, so I get to write my own schedule. I'm not in management, so I don't have to deal with customer or employee issues or deal with the constant emails and conference calls. Manage a small animal hospital. Always wanted to work with animals but didn't have the drive for school. Got scooped up by my current boss when my former employer went out of business and got OTJ training. Animals greater than people. Get to learn, see interesting things all the time. Pay isn't wonderful but I love going to work every day. Even when the humans are assholes because the good far outweigh the bad. I'm an art teacher. I shut my door, interpret the curriculum how I see fit, and have a blast making amazing projects with my kids. Since it's art, Nobody really gives a crap about what I'm doing, as long as my kids are working. It gives me a lot of freedom to teach what I think is appropriate. Extremely supportive team, insane benefits, great pay, and the work I do is extremely easy. There's a lot, and some nights go later than I would prefer, but the work I do is not only not difficult but very fulfilling too because I am making very direct impacts on a lot of small business owners, getting to see them hit all kinds of exciting goals. Earlier this year, mid-pandemic, I had a client tell me they were able to get a family vacation scheduled for the first time in over five years thanks to how great business has been and directly thanked me for helping him get there. That's why I do what I do. Oncology Pharmacy Tech here. I mostly deal with insurance and financial assistance. My job is high pressure and incredibly stressful. But it's so rewarding to be able to get people help with affording their medicine. People are so grateful. And it gives me plenty of opportunity to bag on the US's completely broken healthcare system. People usually agree. If I woke up tomorrow, and suddenly we had free universal healthcare, and I was out of a job, I'd not be too upset. But since we have to play by these bullshit rules, and I consider myself pretty good at it, I'll content myself with getting people what they need with a minimum of stress for the patient and their families. I teach at an entirely outdoor nature preschool. It's difficult, demanding, exhausting, and loads of fun. I'm outside all day and our program is entirely play-based. We call our outdoor classroom a yes space because we have set it up so that the kids can basically do what they want, as long as it doesn't hurt people or property. We splash barefoot in mud puddles, build amazing stick forts, climb trees, make nature potions, invent games, do art and so much more. The kids even take their nap outside, under the shade of some giant trees. It's wonderful. I'm a tattoo artist, so I only have to work when I want to, and when I do, I usually just draw anime and video game characters on people while we watch anime or video game streams. I found a way to make a living just being a nerd. Not a bad gig. I'm a teaching assistant at a junior school so I get to be around children all the time. Very little stress compared to actual teachers and the kids laugh at my jokes. It's a winner. I literally get paid to play with dogs. I work at a pet hotel and at the moment I'm outside in a yard surrounded by 20 puppers. I get along with all my coworkers and my boss is excellent. Everyone defaults to helping problem solve when things go wrong and no one is ever blamed when things do go wrong. We just evaluate what happened and how we can prevent it happening in the future. My boss is super nice, patient, and understanding. I could probably find work in the same field making better money and not have to live where I do but my department all has such great chemistry that I doubt I would be as happy elsewhere. Pediatric registered nurse. When I'm done my assessments, medication administration, and charting, I spend my downtime building Legos and playing video games with my patients. Pretty sweet gig. Worked retail for 10 years. 
took a pay cut to go to a different, small grocery store. It's kind of like a David's if anyone knows that chain. Bit bigger. It's in a rich ass development. Old white folk. Nice tips sometimes randomly just for pointing out the bananas or something. So I'm the only one in the produce department. AKA I run this bitch. Zero supervision. It's pretty nice. I can take breaks whenever I want. Free lunch from the deli. Don't have to deal with customers aside from the occasional, where is X? Pretty sweet gig, but I've already gotten a raise to match my previous salary, and the usual promises of more. We'll see about that, but I'm happy for now, they're happy with me. All is well, and I'm not pissed off all day anymore. Only complaint would be that because the way the trucks are scheduled I don't get two days in a row off anymore. But oh well, I can deal. I'm a member of the International Union of Elevator Constructors. I install elevators for a living. The benefits and pay are incredible. The work is very satisfying and I actually enjoy coming into work every day. It can get stressful and some days are way harder than others but generally it's a pretty fun job building shit and using tools all day. I'm a science teacher. I love working with kids. I love that I don't have administrative responsibilities. All I have to do is make lesson plans, and teach those plans, and I can refine them through the day as needed. If a lesson goes great, I can save it for the next year, and there is no shortage of good ideas online. It is infinitely more rewarding helping kids understand difficult concepts and seeing those, aha, moments, much better than my previous soul-crushing desk job. Also, every now and then I get to blow shit up with a bunch of kids. Skydiving instructor. I mainly take people on tandem skydives and introduce them to the world of skydiving. It has its ups and downs. I used to have a job I loved. Asterisk I was a team leader in a R&D team software, systems design. Asterisk great team of people working for me. Asterisk great management above me. Management who actually cared but recognized that I knew more about the subject matter than they did most of the time with mutual respect. Asterisk as the team leader and technical lead I had complete control over the direction of my team. Asterisk our product, that is extremely niche so I don't want to give further details, is something that was making the world a better place. Asterisk had lots of really cool kit to play with. Asterisk had the option to travel internationally to relevant conferences all expenses paid. Asterisk reasonable pay. Not the highest but enough to pay for the mortgage and have enough left over for some luxuries like foreign holidays when the world isn't on fire. Alas I had to leave my job for medical reasons, but at least I had an awesome pension. Thanks for watching. See you later.